Yeah. Yeah, this this might seem a little goofy. Um but one of the aspects of being a player piano technician that I really enjoy is I guess what you might call the investigative aspect of the job. In other words, trying to figure out what's wrong with something, why something works, why something doesn't work, what its condition is. Kind of like a Sherlock Holmes in a way. And this is a good example. This uh, this half of this this half of this stack is a good example because you notice the coloration here or the discoloration of this piece of felt and right next to it is another note and another note and another note and you can see all of these notes these are these are the exhaust ports of the valves for each one of these particular pneumatics let me uh, zoom out a little bit Zoom out a little bit so that you can see the whole pneumatic. Okay. And each each one of these holes, there's a hole underneath here in the metal, is the exhaust port. And zoom back in here. And what what's interesting about this, okay, stay in focus. A little bit farther out, there we go. You know, obviously down here in, in this area, which is in the center, this is the centermost area of the uh, of the stack. And let me just kind of back up here so that you can see so that you can see the whole stack. Okay, and it actually becomes even more obvious when you look at it. A little bit further away like this you can see automatic and almost immediately you can see this particular this particular uh, valve right here it's very very dark as as compared to the ones that are on either side of it or the ones that are around it uh, here again, here's another one, these ones over here, as compared to their, as compared to their neighbors. And you say, you know, well, what's going on there? And what's actually going on there is that these particular uh, valves are leaking. Uh, they're leaking a small amount all the time, and as a result of that, uh, more outside air is being sucked in all the time and therefore uh, the felt becomes a little discolored. So when, when people ask me, especially in regards to this particular uh, type of stack, um, when you open it up, when you open this stack up, you, you look at the parts, uh, the, uh, the valve facings, in fact, I have, I have right here the valve facings for the, I'm trying to open up this bag with one hand here. There we go. I have the valve facings that came out of the other half of this, um, of this of this stack and you look at these valve facings and you play with them and you say well you know these these valve facings seem pretty good you know they're still pretty flexible but the problem is with these particular valve facings and the reason that they're replaced with hang on I'm getting them out here The reason they get replaced with these valve facings 
is because these valve facings here are made out of a red rubber that was used back in uh, it's the same red rubber that was used in ammunition cans back in World War One, and um, collectors and whatnot found that you know 80 90 years later this um, this natural red rubber was still soft and pliable and I mean hadn't lost any of its uh, properties whereas the, these facings are, which are made out of neoprene get harder and harder and harder every year not only that for reasons that I don't completely understand, uh, they have a tendency to stick to the aluminum, and perhaps that's because of contaminants that come in from the air, um, you know, from the outside air, contaminants that get um, onto the neoprene, and what ends up happening is that little tiny microscopic pieces of the neoprene actually get stuck to the valve side of the aluminum and then as uh, these things are are prone to do uh, they have a tendency to rotate a little bit especially if the piano gets moved or something like that and they get jostled around inside of the piano and they rotate a small amount and then where that little piece of debris came off of the neoprene and got stuck to the aluminum and then the valve rotates a small amount. Now when it goes to seal, it can't seal because it's got that little piece of debris in the way which prevents the valve from closing down all, all the way. And you end up with valves like this one that leak a little bit. Or this one right here, you, you can see is darker. Or this one right over here on the very, very end. Which, of course, <laughs> this valve here on the very, very end how often is that going to ever be used? And you look at the ones that are next to it here, there's only a very, very slight discoloration of there. And then as you're moving on down, you can see they start getting a little darker and a little darker and a little darker. Because, of course, the notes in the middle of the piano, that's right here, the notes in the middle of the piano get used a lot. And so it's, you know, it would be considered um, normal that they would have a kind of an even amount of discoloration on them in the center section and then as you get closer and closer to the ends to this end and closer and closer to this end it would be less and less and yet you know you've got this one right here which is pretty dark this one right here which is pretty dark and then all the rest of these are well this one right here see it these two right here are a little darker. You know, so you see things like this. I mean, and this is why when when I this is why when I rebuild this, you know, even though these even though these parts may look good, uh, they get they get changed with a part that's not going to deteriorate or that has, quite frankly, has known problems. I mean, it's it's known that. The neoprene facings in the universal stack uh, were problematic. That's it.